Woo! What is going on, you guys? It is Dog Cost Crypto here with Tradfi starting to think about crypto, man. I'm with the magical Cultivate Crypto. What's up, dude? Hey, hey, hey. What, we're at like, uh, uh, we're trying to like, we're not really getting used to time zones, right? Because like, it's like what, like 1 a.m. here. So that's like, you know, brunch 10. in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Jet lag is real, ladies and gentlemen. I know sleep, gang. What is going on, man? Uh, who needs a kidney? That's right. Looks for danger. That is right, man. But uh, today's video is going to be about um, kind of one of the first real guys in the trad fight in the, in the advisement space that I've seen that kind of gets it. Mm. Now, I know he, he's there's a couple things he says in terms of like there's there's one about like in terms of like the regulation that I don't quite fully agree with him. The other side is basically, of course, um, he's trying to. He, I, I, he's basically trying to honey dick a lot of people, uh, like the 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 advisement space, on the the usability, and which is very true. There's a tons. It's like cryptos can be very versatile and can be used for tons of things. But he's trying to stay away from saying the speculation side, which is what people get into. If there was no speculation, there's no money to be made. People would not be in stocks at all either. Yeah. Right. And which I understand why he's trying not to say all that stuff, which is understandable, but he's made, he makes a great case for crypto and uh, it's really interesting. It's like, it's like crazy. It's like, it's like really seeing somebody in front of that space actually get it. It's kind of insane. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And there's more and more of those coming around the corner. Um, you know, I think it's obvious at this point to anybody with a few brain cells that crypto is not going away. So they're like, Oh shit. Okay. Now I actually have to like critically think about this and consider it. Right. And this guy is completely right, man. Wife changing money joins CMC quarter two, man. Shout out to you guys, man. Crypto mindset quarter two is live today, man. You have two more days to get in. Two more days for you to be a turbo dork with money, Lambos, and everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Revenge like, of the nerds, baby. That's good. Revenge. Baby. Yeah, revenge <laughs> of the nerds, man. Definitely sign up for crypto mindset quarter two. It's out right now, man. And if you pay with crypto, you get a 15% discount. Or if you're in the Citadel right now, you guys forgot if you guys are in the Citadel you have a discount you can use pin message all, all the things are there for you guys man but damn this is gonna be a great one we're gonna be talking pulse chain l1s meme coins i mean everything galore bitcoin bitcoin rising up to like forty thousand dollars this year taking advantage of the dips i mean we're, we're literally telling you all this stuff but we're, I mean, we're gonna implement it do it take profits and a lot of our guys who took the last course are up quite sub substantially we bought the lows mm. i don't know I, I don't know how many people could say that but we we can definitely we can so definitely sign up today, man. But without further ado, man. Um, oh, yeah, and Pulse Chain launching soon, of course. <laughs> and uh, it's the best resource you can actually have to actually be able to um, – I, I would I would say it's probably the best resource you can have in terms for the launch and stuff you're going to be taken care of where we're going to be able to guide you through, like, basically what's going on, to, what's, what's going on, how to set up, where, where's a good place to yield farm, where's not a good place to yield farm. Um, because we have we have a lot of experience when it comes to doing LPs and, and yield farming and kind you know getting and like going into these ecosystems and stuff like that. Let me tell you this right now. Um mo this is not a knock on hexagons, but the hexagons have mostly stuck to their own coin for the most time. Um, while the Moon Gang and the Citadel and stuff, we have been in just about every L every useful L1 that we could possibly be in and stuff. Um, from borrowing and lending to everything, we've, we've kept people away from leverage. We kept people away from disasters. We kept people away from, from losing on Luna, Celsius, and all these centralized entities. Tons of stuff. But at the same time, we also have been able to make money on those things as well. Because... You, there, there's times to make money with it. And there's times to abandon it. A lot of coins that we're investing in this cycle, we probably will never be touching again next cycle. Mm. And some we will maybe be with for another decade or, or, or 20 years, but we, we keep sitting moving, man. Um, but yeah, man, without further ado, let's, let's get into this, man. This video is a, uh, I really like this video. This is, this is a pretty, this is a pretty interesting video. And so like, I, I don't see too many people kind of talking like this, but uh, shut up. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider him old. I think, I think he's like in his, I think he might be like an older extra. I gotta say, the guy that you use on the thumbnail, right? Yeah, yeah, Eric um, or, or Rick Elman and stuff. He's yeah. uh, he's like an OG, OG in the uh, in the in the finance space and stuff like that in terms of like um, advisors and stuff. So let's definitely check it out. Tell me, let me know if you can hear the audio. Um, slash Kayla. A little louder though. Okay, let me. All right. Legendary, legendary episode today. I mean, we haven't done it yet, so we'll, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be one for the ages. Um, I'm in a room right now 
with the person who I consider to be, um, don't blush when I say this, all right? Okay. The person who I consider to be the, the, the architect of everything that we are, are currently doing at our firm. Rick did it 20 and 30 years before we would have ever thought of it. And uh, I'm just, I'm so honored that you're here. I'm a huge fan of yours. I've read your books. I've listened to your show. I've seen you speak live. Uh, I, I think I just think the world of everything that you've done and contributed to the profession. Here is the formal write-up that we've done for you. Rick is the founder of Edelman Financial Engines, an RIA with $300 billion in assets under management. Rick is a New York Times bestselling author. $300 billion. Not a Jeez. bad second change right there. <laughs> $300 billion. Now, shout out to the dude, man. That is, that is a chunk of change, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Host the Truth About Your Future podcast and is the founder of the Digital Assets Council of Financial Professionals. Rick Edelman, welcome to the show. Josh, thank you. I really crowd's am, going nuts. Uh, I, as well, they should. <laughs> I'm, I really, I'm humbled and grateful for those very kind comments. Thank okay, uh, and Michael and Ben are here too. I, I'm, I'm thankful. <laughs> um, ben Carlson is the head of institutional asset management at Red Holtz Wealth. You know him from. The A Wealth of Common Sense blog. He is part of the compound. He hosts the excellent Portfolio Rescue, co-hosts uh, Animal Spirits. And Ben, welcome back to New York. Thanks for coming in. Glad to be here. All right. You seem really, you seem really fired up. I don't know if we can, can we even continue This is something today. you need to cut from all podcasts, the introduction of the no, guests. I, I'm trying to tell Michael favorite. this. You don't no, want Ben, to... say you don't want the guests to say, thank you for being, thank you for having me. Yeah. You got it. You got to pause. No, you really don't, because by the time they're here, yeah, they already know the why they're here. So, right, just get on with All it. All right, what's your S and P target? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to Rick, write Rick, in? Your your icon just agreed with That's me. True. Oh, I also want to mention. Um, I want to do this at the top because I'll be going to this. Um, I'm a keynote speaker at the Vision Conference. Yes, and you that, are. Okay, so tell us tell us what the um, the Digital Assets Council of Financial Professionals is. And then we'll talk about the event itself. So my my goal has always been to look ahead at what's coming and make sure that we're giving advice to our clients, that is to help them for the future that they're headed toward. And exponential technologies broadly, and in particular, crypto, blockchain, digital assets is a huge asset class that is still under development and growing rapidly. And most like you, you would think a guy in this position with like $300 billion under management and stuff really poo poos and kind of wouldn't like really talk shit. Cause the dude's made it like, yeah. I mean, shit, you're managing a billion. You're out here. You really are. Yeah. And he's got 300 X that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you would, you would, you would literally think that um, he'd be poo pooing crypto, but, he, but he's like literally taking like, he is like literally like trying to forcefully help out crypto and is like made like a council group and stuff. And is trying to get advisors to, um, start accepting um, certain portions of the portfolios in crypto and stuff, which I think is pretty cool, man. And uh, yeah, man. And actually, the, yeah. the, the, I would call the boomer of the group is is like fat, is fighting these like uh, these toxic exters right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's crypto, which is wild. Well, and if he takes home, you know, one percent of that three hundred billion a year, or just as an example, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, that that, that can compound real quickly. So uh, yeah. That's right. That's this is correct. Not all olds are bad. That's right. <laughs> There's some smart ones out there. 